Hi everyone, this is Naomi and welcome back to my channel. Here are my cousins Megan and Sarah. They both have their channels Megan Hannett and Sarah Hannett. Um, <laughs> as they are sisters, I'm a little the odd one out. <laughs> so we are doing the Camping Book Take by Becca with a Book. And we decided to do this as we are currently camping, having a family camp out and it's a lot of fun. Um, so Megan has the first part on her channel with the first three questions. Mm -hmm. And Sarah's gonna have the next part with the last three questions on her channel. So I will have four questions here and we're gonna get right back into the tag, I guess. Yep. So the first question that we're talking about, so question number four, is Nature, a book that takes place outside. Um, and for me, I have to go with The Great Alone. I just finished it and mm -hmm. it is like all about outside. <laughs> the whole book <laughs> takes place outside in Alaska, so that's my answer. And for me, I would say The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins because when I think of like Katniss and The Hunger Games, I think of her in the woods, climbing trees, shooting birds, <laughs> all that stuff. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And for me, it's The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien because yes, there are some things that take place inside, but the vast majority of it, they are camping, traveling, just living on the road. So yeah. yeah. The next question is a mosquito, a book or character that makes that's annoying and makes you want to smack them. <laughs> <laughs> At least behind the camera, I was like wanting to smack the mosquitoes too. <laughs> Completely. Um, so for me, the first book that came to mind as an annoying book I wanted to smack was Warlight, and I cannot still pronounce this guy's <laughs> last name. Um, but it just, I've ranted about it on my channel. If you want to go back a couple of videos, I'm sure you'll hear about it. I really didn't like it, and it was really annoying. <laughs> um, for me, um, a character within a book who I want to smack is Lady Susan in Lady Susan yeah. by Jane Austen. She's oh. so awful. She's really like hilarious and great too, but the choices she makes and what she does to other people, it's like, stop it, stop it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and I had to go through a couple different ones to decide on it, but I actually just now decided this one is both a book and a character. Robinson Crusoe. I hate this book and I hate the main character just as much. <laughs> oh. So, oh, like, oh, I still have never read that book. <laughs> oh, sorry, I can see why other people like it. I can see why it's important, but I personally just despise it. <laughs> So it's one of the very few books I've ever read that I legitimately hate. Oh, well, good to know. <laughs> the next question is, oh goodness, um, <laughs> slipping back and forth. <laughs> Beach, a fun and relaxing read. And so mm. I had to go with Crazy Rich Asians because I had so much fun reading that book. And it's not to be taken seriously, but it's just a good time if you're not taking it as real reality or intentionally serious. <laughs> And for me, it would be As You Wish by Carrie Elwes, oh, if that's, that's how funny. you say his name. Yeah, it's all about the making of The Princess Bride and his experience with it. It's really funny and really enjoyable. So, yeah. Yeah, and I'm going to go with food, with food, A Love Story by Jim Gaffigan. It's hilarious. Um, Jim Gaffigan, if you don't know, is a stand-up comic. And yeah, this book is basically just him talking about all the different types of food and his opinion on different types of food. He's very, very funny. So for me, that's a fun one to relax with. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Um, and then last question for this video is A Campfire, a book you could stay up all night reading. And for me, I was thinking it has to be anything by Riley Sagar because I just read all of his books nonstop. But I pick them up and I don't put them down again. Um, especially Lock Every Door made me, I read it for four hours straight and just <laughs> couldn't put it down. So anything he probably puts out is <laughs> a read all night kind of book. <laughs> And for me, it is a book that I did read all night. Well, I read it till I finished, which wasn't all night, but um, Tempting Providence by Robert Chafe, or Chafe, if you're <laughs> fancy. It's actually a play, and it's uh, about an English woman who goes over to Newfoundland right after World War I to be a nurse, and it's really, really good. I loved it. And then I was just talking to Naomi about this actually earlier, Count of Monte Cristo. This is one of the first books where I did actually stay up way too late at night reading it because I just loved it. So, yeah, <laughs> good choice. <laughs> so that was part two of the camping book tag. We'll see you on Sarah's channel for part three. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> nice, Megs. <laughs> screenshot. Oh, yeah, screenshot. <laughs> Still a video. <laughs> <laughs> You're awful.